Hello and welcome to Where Am I? And today I'm back up at the Polytunnel at the allotments. And uh, here I hope to grow some beautiful fruit and veg and show basically how a blind person can do it. And if I can do it, then anybody can. And how to enjoy the great outdoors. So thank you for joining me. And if you haven't already, please do smash a like on the video and subscribe. It is free of charge. Thank you. Um, so today I need to do some watering. We need to have a little look at the plants. I want to put some plants outside to start harding, harding them off. Um, and I seem to have a little bit of an issue with one, one or two of them, which I'm going to show you. And any help or and advice would be fantastic. Also, we have a little bit of a pest problem, which I'm really going to need your help with. Um, so let's get let's get over and have a little look at what's what's been going on. Right then. Dear people, here we are in the polytunnel. Uh, we'll have a look at a few things in a second, but let me get, oh, I'll get down here. And here are my tomato plants doing really well, I believe. Um, so these tomato plants are money makers, uh, which are like the kind of like salad potatoes, uh, salad potatoes, salad tomatoes, um, I believe. So that's those ones. Um, and they seem to be doing really, really well, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And then on this side, oh, we have some more tomato, uh, tomato plants, and these are the cherry tomatoes, um, and they are gardener's delight. Um, I do have some canes at home that I need to bring up and put in, um, basically sooner rather than later, um, which could be tomorrow, hopefully. Um, then we've got some tomato plants here which are going up to my mum and also to my nan and we've also got a mint plant as well which is quite cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to harden off these plants here so I'm going to put them outside in a second. And not for very long, uh, it's quite windy but I'm going to harden them off uh, or start to harden them off because I want to get them planted in the ground uh, sooner rather than later. I really should have started hardening them off already, I think, by judging by um, what other people seem to be doing. Um, but, where am I? Right, okay. So this here is my sweet corn. Excuse the cameraman skills. Now, I'm a little bit worried about something. Here, the tops are bending over and on one of them here it is on one of them it's, it's like it's snapped now should I just leave that or should I break it off I don't know if you guys can see that right I'm sorry about my cameraman skills I don't know what I'm doing here um, but yeah see I think that should be up like that but it's not it's snapped off or well, it's bent over um, so please do let me know what you think I should do is it a case of hardening them off or should I just put them straight in the ground and maybe the pots are too small? I don't know. Um, but please do let me, please do let me know. Um, one of the jobs I've got to do today uh, is a job that we seem to do a lot up here at the allotment garden. And that is tidy the polytunnel because it's messy. And as you can see, there is no compost, com compost bags underneath the, the table anymore. We have used it all. Um, which brings me on to a question. Um, so I need to get some more for the first three bags here of Potato Alley. Uh, but the end bag and the other bag, which is the same, which is filled right up to the top. When do I know the potatoes are done? Is it when the leaves turn yellow? Because I know they grow, you've got to let them grow out for, for a, is it a metre? Like two foot? So I don't, I, I'm not sure. Um, they're Red Duke of York first earlies, um, but are they ready when the, the leaves turn yellow? Uh, if anybody can answer, that would be awesome. Now, big, big, potentially big, big problems here at the allotment. And that is, this raised bed here is my strawberry bed. Now, Jen was in this bed. Well, not in this bed, but she was tending to this bed uh, yesterday. And she got bit. And she had a little look around and she has found quite a big ant's nest in there now are they she got bit i always thought it was the red ants that bit you um now i'm not 100 percent sure or anything like that but she got bit will these will this ants nest do damage to the strawberry plants um if so what should i do how, how should i get rid of them etc what's the best thing 
for me to do here. Um, so any advice on that would be absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much, dear people. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the, I'm going to get that tr that um, I'm going to get that tray out of the plants at the back there. Get it out. Get it in. It's, it's warm here today. It's windy, but it's warm. So actually, it's a very beautiful day. Um, my neighbour's here. Well, not my neighbour, but the one over. She's here again. She's working very hard, which is fantastic. Um, but I'm going to get that out and start trying to get those hardened off. Um, and then we're going to do some watering and um, do some tidying. And we'll go from there. But it is wonderful to have plants up here doing what I would... I, I think okay. I think they're doing all right. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And if I can do it as a blind person, then anybody can do it. So please do get outside and enjoy the great outdoors. Get the fresh air in your lungs and surprising what a buzz it gives you. All right, let's get these plants out. Okay, let's go down here. <coughs> Right. Right. So, as you can see, I've taken the plants out of the polytunnel and I've put them down there. I don't know if you can see that from up here, but I'm telling you now, <laughs> growing these plants from seed, oh, they're, they're like my babies, um, and carrying it just down here and placing them outside was absolutely nerve-wracking. I was like, please don't drop them, please don't drop them, please don't drop them. Um, but there they are, they're outside. And as you can probably hear, it's quite windy. And I don't know if it's good to put them out in the wind or or not. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very much learning in this in this game, but I don't think it makes too much difference, um, surely. But yeah, it's all a learning curve, but those are those plants outside now. Um, and we'll just leave them out for a few hours, um, let them kind of get used to it. It's a nice day for it to happen. Um, and I am going to crack on with tidying up the polytunnel, putting things away, getting things sorted out because it's messy. And to be fair, it's going to be soon getting to the point where it's going to be working hard up here. I've got so much to do. Um, nothing really seems to be getting done though. If that makes sense. I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me overthinking it. But yeah, let's crack on with tidying this body ton of work. Oops. Right then, that is the polytunnel now. Nice and tidy again. <laughs> and next week we'll be here tidying the polytunnel again. Um, so yeah, so that's all nice and tidy. Um, once the shed's done, I can get all that stuff in that corner out, which will give me more growing space. Um, and I've been waiting for a day like this, so I could come up and paint the shed and do everything. Um, but time seems to be getting on, to be fair. I know it's only beginning of May, but still. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use the hose pipe to, to water. Um, now we've got the water butt here. Um, and as you can see, got some water in there and I'm gonna have to think about where I'm gonna put this because if I don't want it to stay down I have to move it before we have rain and it fills up uh, this big bucket here I've been any rainwater that collects in there I've been emptying into uh, the water butt as well now before I start watering let me show you growth on the carrots as requested um, very let me just see if I can feel Here's one. I mean, they're slowly growing. I, I'm hoping there's more growth under under the um, soil than there is on top. But I mean, they're getting on like that. That's grown up quite a bit considering the way it was last time. I don't know if my cameraman skills are really showing this. Um, but I do need to do another row of of um, carrots here. Um, but the the stuff underneath is, is still nice and moist, um, so I do need to do another row. I'll probably do another row of that this week. Now, where am I? Here I am. Oh, where's my where's my metal thing gone? Oh, it's there. Oh, what's happened there? 
Um, anyway, um, parsnips. That I think is a weed. There doesn't seem to be. Hold on. Again, that's got a leaf. So I'm guessing that's a a weed. There doesn't seem to be the growth on the parsnips as there is on the uh, like. What's that there? Is that? Leave in the comments below if these are parsnips or weeds. But I mean, they seem to be in the line that I. I made. Um, so let me know, but I would. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but what I might do is put some of that chicken fertilizer down back here and do another row there. Um, maybe next week as well. So I might put some chicken pellets down this week, let it water in, um, and start breaking down before I put the seeds in next week. But I think I'll do a row of carrots and parsnips next week. Um, so yeah, so that's the carrots and the parsnips and how they are how they are doing. Right, let's try and untangle this hose pipe and get some watering done. Right then, I've just finished watering and uh, I've just realised something people. Um, I watered inside the strawberries and uh, I was told that strawberries like quite a lot of water so I gave quite a lot of water to them and then I realised that's where the ant's nest is. Um, I could have just drowned a load of ants by mistake. Uh, so if I did, I'm sorry ants, um, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I watered it quite heavily and then afterwards I was like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Um, hmm. Right. But, quick question. I, I, I'm a little bit worried about the carrots now. Um, well, I'm not worried about the carrots. I mean, there's, there's, there's growth there. But the parsnips is where I'm worried at. I, I, I think there would have been more growth on the parsnips um, than on the carrots. Maybe you that can see growth there, I don't know. Um, if you can, please do let me know um, what I should do. Because I'm like, do, do I put chicken fertilizer down, leave it a couple of days and put some seeds in? Or like, what do I do? Is there anything going on there? I'm not sure. There is definitely on the carrots and I'm going to get some more in there. Um, but this compost was what we got delivered, uh, that uh, that we had delivered um, going back about a month or so. Whereas this stuff was the old compost, and I just wonder if that, that plays any any difference at all. I'm not sure, uh, but please do let me know. Thank you. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring these plants back in uh, and zip the polytunnel up, just because it's it's not a, it's not warm warm. It's well, it's 16 degrees, but it's gone four o'clock now. Um, it's about half past four, so the sun is show it's slowly going away from us, and it's a bit cloudy as well. So I'm going to bring these plants in and let the polytunnel warm back up. Um, but I was going to tell you a funny little story. Um, and in one of these raised beds, let me see if I can find it. I think it's this one. Yeah, right, okay, so you can see a row of hose cut out. And Jen put seeds in here, and I didn't realise. And I've been on the phone to her panicking, saying, Those plants we planted out, they've gone, they've been eaten, there's nothing there, etc. Um, uh, but it's not. It's um, She's put seeds in there. <laughs> so, yeah. I've just been waiting for slugs to attack me, the uh, the plot, but I didn't expect it to be like that. But obviously it wasn't. It was just me apparently not listening to when Jen talks. <laughs> anyway, let's get these plants. I've got some tomato plants there to go up to my mum's, and then the rest I'm going to put indoors now uh, to keep nice and warm overnight. Well, there is the allotment plot. It was a lovely sunny day when we got here, and it's very cloudy now. But everything is watered. I've got some plants down the bottom, right down the far end that need to go to my mum's. Um, well, actually, there's tomato plants down there that need to go to my mum and my nan. And there's also the peppermint that needs to come back up here. Uh, the problem is I don't know the difference between the peppermint and the tomato. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But as you can hear, wind's picked up quite a lot. Um, so, yes. But 
apart from the tripod being in the way. Polytunnel looking much better. Plants in the front, at the back there, sorry. O'Malley down on the, uh, in and amongst the tomatoes there. Afternoon, O'Malley. Okay, thank you. Don't overthink it. Clear your mind. Breathe deep. Right. No, I shouldn't do that actually while the camera's on. I'm trying to put it in. Um, where was I? What was I? Am I? Where am I? Right. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Right, dear people, thank you very, very much for watching me today. Um, today has been quite an interesting day. Um, it felt good taking the plants out and starting the hardening off process. I hope I'm doing that correctly. And if um, and if anybody thinks I should get those plants to straighten the ground now, please just do, you know, drop a, a comment below and let me know because um, I need all the help I can get as a as a first timer. Um, so that would be wonderful. I do think maybe the sweet corn would be okay in. But again, because the, the tops have kind of like bent over and snapped a bit, I, I don't know. I'm a little bit worried about it. And I don't want to leave them in their pots too long. I don't want to like stump their growth or or anything like that. So any advice on the plants, please, please do let me know. Same with the parsnip and the, the carrots as well. Uh, same with the potatoes. When when should I look to harvest them? Is it when the leaves turn yellow? Uh, they are the Red Duke of York. Uh, talking of potatoes, they are the first earlies. Now, I would like to have a um, a season where potatoes are something that I can grow all year round. So uh, with them being first earlies, could anybody recommend second earlies or main crop? Um, and if so, when should I look to, to get them? What types should I get and, and when should I look to plant them if, if that's okay? Thank you. I know I'm asking a lot. Um, but no, it's, it's been good fun. It was nerve wracking carrying the plants down. Um, and putting them on the raised bed and it was equally um, nerve-wracking bringing them back up um, because carrying them down I kind of you know know where I'm going but coming back up I had no idea where the polytunnel was or anything like that so I was a little bit like oh my gosh where am I um, but we made it we got back I don't think any of the plants are damaged which is happy days um, and yeah I got the polytunnel nice and, and tidy now everything's watered may have killed the ants I might have like they could all be dead um, ah, um, yeah the ant situation is a little bit of a worrying one so if anybody can let me know what I should do there if they are a pest are they a pest are they gonna damage my, my strawberry crop um, if, if they're not I'll just leave them um, so yeah that would be awesome it's been a wonderful day um, up here I didn't use the hose pipe to water I did chicken out and the reason being is it's a bit windy today and not my neighbor but the one over there was a lady there working on her plot and blind man wind hose pipe you know i could have soaked her by mistake i, I could have just been shooting her with water and not even realized i was watering her and not my plot <laughs> and so so i chickened out um so maybe i'll leave that for when jen's here next um and i'll just carry on with the, the watering can at least i know what i'm doing um kind of uh Although the polyton does always get a good watering when I'm trying to water the potatoes. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a great day. Um, it's been a great day. It's lovely to come up here with the children. Equally as lovely uh, when it's just me. And yeah, as I always say, people, if you haven't been out and about lately, get out there, get into the countryside, up onto the moorlands. If you've got a garden, caught a courtyard, whatever it is, just get out and enjoy the great outdoors because it's so good for you. It makes you feel good. It makes you put, puts you in a positive mood. And if you can, get your name down on your local allotment list if you haven't got one already. Um, and, um, you know, later this year, n next year, depending on how long the waiting list is, you could be doing the same as me. And I tell you now, the buzz it gives you. And you're always thinking ahead. Like, you know, at the moment I'm thinking what I need to do now at the plot in repairing things getting plants in i'm also thinking you know what's the summer going to bring autumn winter next year and and you it never leaves you it's, it's like it's it's inside me now and it's uh it's just a great feeling so if i can do it you can do it so as i always say what are you waiting for 
Um, but if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It's free of charge. Please do smash that like button and uh, drop a comment below. Say hello. And um, I will answer each and every one of you back. And uh, until next time, have a lovely week. And uh, bye for now.